All right, we're going to cover the basics on how to replace an RJ45 plug uh, Category 5 cable. This is an 8-pin. It has 8 copper wires in here. And if you're using, this is a real popular tool for this. And what happens, I found, if you put it in and you use it and cut it like this, um, the end that they want you to pull off is very small and so it's very difficult to unwind all these pairs and line them up properly so that we can put it in the plug. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the end and we're going to use this outermost little slot here and I'm just going to give us a lot of room. So using this slot on the back end of it it just barely puts a small cut into the outside coating so that we don't cut any of the copper wires. And now this gives us a, a lot of room to work and a lot of room to pull these wires apart. There's a couple different ways you can group the wires. Uh, the standard is a green stripe, green, orange stripe, blue, blue stripe, orange, brown stripe, brown. But if you're changing a plug, and let's say you have a bad plug and it's, it's broken or damaged and you just want to change it, the key is matching these pins, matching the colored wires to what's on the other end of the plug. So we're going to use the standard. So I'm going to pull the, the two green ones that are wrapped on one side and the brown on the opposite side. And we're going to just untwist each pair which is going to give us eight individual wires. And the next step is going to be lining them up. Okay, so I've separated the wires and I've got green stripe, green, orange stripe, blue, blue stripe, orange, brown stripe, brown. And I'm going to compress the base of these so that they stay separated and I'm going to kind of pull them and group them real nice and it's almost weaving them together so that when we cut this they're going to stay in place. So I'm kind of mashing them down and what I want to do is I want to kind of get a feel for when this crimps down we want to kind of catch the outer coating of the rubber and we want to insert it into the end of this plug. So I'm going to cut it right about here and I'm just going to use instead of the side with two blades I'm going to use the side with just one blade and I'm just going to cut it at this length like this and now I'm going to just work them together so they're nice and tight and we see that the colors are all grouped properly and now I'm going to, with the tab down, I'm going to insert them so they line up into the eight grooves. And then we're going to use our crimping tool and we're going to slide it in. And this is going to crimp it down and also it's going to splice the ends of the wires in the tip. And it's that easy to change a plug on a Cat5 cable.